Good morning, guys. We've come out to water today. Um, but before we do, I wanted to show you um, the chickens that our broody hen hatched are doing great. I wanna show you those. I've got my sidekicks with me right here. Look how much they've grown. They are just doing wonderful. They've grown so much. So those were the two eggs that hatched um, in the chicken coop and we brought them out and um, we've been taking care of them, keeping them under the heat lamp uh, in our garage in this little box. Now one of these little jokers did get out. So we put a queen excluder, if anybody knows anything about bees, this is a queen excluder that you use in beekeeping. So we had to put that in to keep them in. And also, these are all of our new babies that we just hatched, 100% hatch rate. We had nine eggs in the incubator and all nine hatched. And they are so stinking cute. And we're also gonna go out and water everything so I can kind of give y'all an update of what's going on in the garden, an update of some stuff that we've done from our raised beds to our greenhouse. And I wanna show y'all what's going on in one of my raised beds. I've had some, almost all of my herbs that I've had in my raised beds have um, kind of started to die. I'm not sure what's going on with them. So I'm gonna show that show you guys that stuff and um if you have any ideas or suggestions just leave them down in the comments so let's go before we get down to the garden i wanted to show you peppa and george they have grown so much and when they used to run from us now they love us because they know that we bring them food every day and they are funny little critters hey baby. So they have grown so much um, since we've had them, and they are funny little critters. But anyway, we're standing in the middle of the bees, so we're going to go ahead and ease on down here to the garden spot. You're standing. I'm biking. And you can see that things have really grown since we've been out here last. Things are really starting to take off. Um, it's funny because in Mississippi, we've had days where it has just flooded for like two days and then it gets burning hot and dries up all the water for several days and then we're back to watering. So this is the corn and you can tell that it has really shot up. Beautiful corn. Cucumbers. Sun, there's some sunflowers there. I'm pretty sure those are sunflowers. I can't remember exactly what Colby planted there. Some peas, and they are starting to come up and wrap. Vine up. Woohoo! Uh, there's a few more down there that's starting to come up and wrap onto the poles. That one's made its way up pretty far. Um, we just healed that up for, Aiden, where did Daddy put those? Oh, the new tomatoes were down there. So we've got a few different stages going on right here on our tomatoes. Um, these have grown a lot since we planted them. They were about the size of these down here that were just planted yesterday. So you can tell major size difference here and here um, but they are definitely growing and looking great that one looks like it's probably the biggest so they are definitely growing and doing great you can see them going down 
peas, rows of corn. Now we did have some corn that looks like spotty on this row. So yesterday we replanted. Um, no, there'll be different sizes, but we did go ahead and uh, replant some um, seed in those fillers. All of these are peas and beans. Peas and beans. We had some spots here too. I don't know if it was the seed or the fact that some of it just got washed away. Not so great. So we replanted all that yesterday. Hey, Jewel. Um, these are all peas and beans, peas and beans, all these rows. Okay, all of this is zucchini, squash. Let's see, our plants are really starting to take off. Um, now, all this was started from seed. Um, I didn't start any of this in the greenhouse because obviously it would have been way too much. Um, so, well, our plants are definitely growing. We're super excited about that. Now, these are not shooting up overnight because we use no fertilizers or anything like that. Those are all of our potatoes. And if y'all saw our very first um, video out here on the garden where me and the girls, Colby was filming, they did some work, but me and the girls planted these rows of tomatoes and they look like, hey, Spike and Jewel. Um, so they look great. They look like they're doing wonderful. Um, so everything in the garden has has done really good except for those few little spots. Um, we put some DE on several things when we started noticing some little holes. Looks like for the majority, um, the majority of that did help. Um, we did see a few more caterpillars out here last night and we just manually killed those. Um, so now I'm gonna walk around and go over to our um, greenhouse and we'll give you a quick update there and also I'm going to show you what's going on in my raised bed and um, kind of what I've been doing about that and um, see what we're going to where we're going to go from here uh, on our raised beds. One other thing before we get to the greenhouse is is Broody. Um, I wanted to show y'all Broody. Now she is still sitting. She keeps jumping boxes. So I think what I may do is um, if I can find somewhere to put her that's safe is get some eggs, put her in a different location, let her have her own little space. But if you see, she's not in the second box anymore. She's in the first box. Oh, she's gone. I don't know where she went. All right, that chicken right there. That keeps trying to escape. No, no, no. Get back in. Get back in. Sorry, keeps trying to escape, is not used to the box. So the video that y'all watched, um, if you watched our very first video of us showing you how to how to um, incubate eggs, um, that was not the first batch. Never mind, scratch all that. Um, that chicken that was just trying to escape was the very first chicks that we ever hatched in our incubator now the next video i did i showed y'all um showed y'all how to how to do it how you need to select your eggs and all of that um things to remember like try not to pick muddy eggs and stuff like that um so those chicks are and we've got we come out here yesterday to clean this out their their coop really needs to be cleaned out and we got busy doing so much of our planting and garden stuff, which I'm fixing to show you guys. Um, well, you saw some of the stuff out in the garden with the extra tomatoes we put out there, the extra corn and peas, some of this, this maintenance we had to do out there. So we ran, by the time we got done doing everything we needed to do, it was literally pitch black. So these are those chickens in there. Those are the ones that we hatched. I don't know if y'all can see them. Those are the ones that we hatched showing you how to those are those babies and they're all doing good now we did lose one we lost um out of those two batches we lost one from each batch um but that's common i mean you know you're 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 gonna have some that don't hatch you're gonna have some that just don't make it um so anyway 
uh, broody. There she is. She's wandering around in there, but she won't get on her eggs because, oh, there she is. She thinks it's feeding time, so she come off to eat. See how she gets real temperamental. Oh, kind of. It's muddy in our chicken coop too, so um, we've got to, like I said, it has been full, like it'll flood for two or three days and then it'll get burning hot and then it'll flood for a few more days. So um, the chickens need to be tended to. So we're, that's something this afternoon we're gonna take care of. Um, raised bed. So this is the raised bed. We'll stop here before we go in the greenhouse. This is the raised bed I was telling you about. Let me turn this around. Right here. Okay, so we have some stuff that has done amazing out here. Parsley's have done amazing. I'm actually, because they're getting these woody stalks right here. See those woody stalks? They need to go to seed because they're several years old. And you you can see the seed pods that are starting to come on them. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to let this whole plant just completely die and dry out before I can get my seeds. Um, so, I'm going to do that. And also, um, this is what I wanted to show y'all. So, I had some sage up here. I had some lavenders up here. I'm trying to remember what else I dug up from out here. I'll have to get in the greenhouse and look. Not, not yet, Aiden. So this is my rosemary. And it looked absolutely beautiful. I mean, like all this growth down here. It was a whole big plant. It looked absolutely beautiful. So yesterday I come out and noticed, like, it looks like it's completely dying. So I tore this whole big section off right here. And I mean, I still have some pretty good growth down here, but as far as this little section, it just looked like it's completely dying. So I tore it off. And what I'm going to do is dig this up and get it in my greenhouse because my sage, oh, my thyme, that was the other one, did the same thing. And it's something about this raised bed. It does great with dill. There's my big dill plants. It's done great with my parsley. Um, cone flowers um, but for whatever reason there are specific herbs like this rosemary um, my sage my thyme it's like they will grow like this has grown since I planted it but then for whatever reason it just stops and then starts dying so I'm gonna dig this one up and probably this one too so this one doesn't look like the other one does. I mean, it has a few leaves on it that doesn't look wonderful. But for the majority of the plant, it looks pretty good and pretty healthy. But um, I don't. I, I probably will dig it up because I just don't want to risk it. Um, so let me take you in the greenhouse and show you the ones that I've dug up. Um, oh, and oregano has done really good out here. Um, this is my oregano. And it has sent off little shoots and made other little plants, and that's what it does. It spreads really easy. Jin Jin, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, buddy? He has been real ill. I don't. He's. We've got several teeth. I don't know if we're getting more teeth. But this little guy has been real ill for the past few days. Come on, man. Come over here beside mommy. <coughs> Struggle is real, y'all. Okay, sorry guys. Baby's first, right? Had to tend to him. So anyway, what I was saying about this oregano is it will grow and it will lay off these little plants and um, they will take root in the ground. And this is going to start a whole new plant right here. So I have little pieces all around. There's a bunch over here that this will lay down. What will happen is this right here will lay down. And when it does, this will form roots and then this will start a whole new plant. So it kind of spreads, but hey, I'm definitely not complaining. I love it. I've taken lots of clippings from this plant. You can see how beautiful and healthy it is. 
I've taken lots of clippings from this. They're also in the greenhouse and um, have made several other plants that are out there. Um, I can't remember if I made a video on that or not. I'll have to go back and look, but um, they are doing great. And you'll see um, also this deal. This is one that's outside that's natural uh, that I've naturally just left out here and left alone that is going to seed. This one is trying. Now I will not let all of these go to seed because I have that one. This looks like it just started blossoming. You'll see the difference in this versus this. And those will eventually close off and form little seeds in there. And then you see I have these back here, here, here. So a lot of my deals trying to go to seed, but I use it a lot. So like on this one, I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna take this off. And I don't need it, it's really no good. I don't know chickens might eat it. Um, and so when you see that, peach, even coming in and pinching the little tops like that encourages growth. Um, so I'm gonna keep some of them from going to seed so that I can uh, have some deal to use through the summer. Uh, deal on sandwiches are good, deal on salads are good, deal of course with pickling is good. Um, I have some little tomatoes that I've planted. I just wanted to kind of experiment. They have grown some. They were teeny tiny whenever I first planted them in here. They have grown some. So anyway, that's the deal with this bed is my herbs for whatever reason will grow and look like they're just thriving, kind of like my parsley. And then for whatever reason, they just stop. And then they start dying. I'm not sure what's going on. So we're going to walk over to the greenhouse and, um, and I'm going to show you the sage and stuff and the time that I have dug up, taken in there and babied. I showed you the sage not long ago, but it has really grown some more, even with new growth on the bottom. So I'm super pumped about that. We're going to go look at that. Um, this is one of my raised beds. Um, I still got some carrots back there. I'm letting those go to seed. That's my plan with those. I've got some tomatoes in here that are growing. So I've re we've really just got tomatoes and stuff everywhere. We, we want different locations, different lighting, different water, everything. Um, asparagus, you guys have heard me talk about my asparagus before. So they're in the ground. Now they will have to stay in the ground for two years. So not next year, but the next. I hope that we'll have some asparagus. Um, and they're one of those things that once they're planted, you get harvest for a while. Um, so I'm excited about that too. There's some dill mixed in with this. That's growing lovely that I planted here. That's dill. There's a dill there. And also some sunflowers that are going to be blooming soon. Hey, Ellie. They're dying to go swimming. They're ready for me to get done watering. Are y'all done folding clothes? Okay. This is things that we're letting go to seed. As you can tell, I already have seed pods on some of these. Like I said, saving seed. If y'all watched any of my other videos, y'all know that I've talked about saving seed is so important to our family. All of this will be lettuce, guys. Now, my goal, lettuce seeds. My goal with this lettuce seed once I harvest it is to take it to our farmer's market and begin selling some of it I mean it's really a lot I have some sunflowers mixed in there with that they haven't grown um, too much yet but just lettuce seeds galore so once I get done collecting all those lettuce seeds I plan to package some um, I've already given some away to family and friends um, I will replant some, but also hope to make some profit off some as well. Because So my video ended up being way longer than I anticipated, but we get, I get so excited sharing with y'all and encouraging and letting y'all know that y'all can do this. Um, so we're going to break it up into two parts. Um, we'll share the first part. We'll share the next part later. Um, 
and also if you like our channel please subscribe please do that and if you have thank you so much and thank you for all those that comment and interact with us we do hope to go live soon um, because we want to get to know our viewers and um, be able to get personal and let them ask questions and we ask questions and um, share ideas and thoughts so stay tuned we'll be doing that soon happy homesteading y'all